If we have more kung fu in the world, we'll have less gun fu. Put down your heaters and put up your beaters. Super, super congratulations. I know this film, seven years in the making. Yeah. How does it feel that this day has finally arrived? Ah, oh, it's a good day for me. You know, it's like, uh, I hate to compare it to this, but it's like a birth of a child, you mm. know? You sit there and you plan and you, you envision. Yeah. And uh, you bring that vision to life. And, you know, I saw the movie last night on the big screen with the beautiful sound. And yeah. I'm like, wow, yo, it's, there's really magic in the world. I'm also very, very happy for, to be at a point in my life that, um, that a vision that started in a little kid's mind who used yeah. to walk through the streets of Staten Island and go to the St. George Theater and watch these karate movies and now maybe to bring one to the silver screen mm -hmm. for a new generation, you know? That's right. Now you've got <laughs> some like major heavyweights in this film. But you know, putting this cast together, uh, we had some good producers and a good casting director help me out. I called some people personally. Yeah. I, remember I was um, Skyping with Lucy, like, Lucy, you gotta come do this film. Come <laughs> on, mama, come on. Yeah. And uh, she came in and she, she agreed to do it. And what I think everybody recognized was that um, being an artist myself and being somebody who's been in front of the camera and behind the camera, I'm able to understand the, uh, the feelings we share, yeah. you know? Sometimes, you know, directors, I, um, you know, they're very uh, dictatorship. Yeah. But art is a very collaborative form of expression. Mm -hmm. And so knowing that, you know, they trusted me as an artist and we all came together and we had a big artist share, yeah. as we would call it. <laughs> and we had a lot of fun making this film. And I was reading somewhere that Jackknife, who's Russell Crowe's character, mm -hmm. is that right? Is kind of based on ODB, is that right? Yeah, well, yeah, we use ODB as some of the character study. ODB has a certain way he just has a dominant power over women <laughs> during his career. <laughs> and you'll notice when uh, Russell Crowe first walks on this screen, he just dominates with the women and he has a lot of fun with them, yeah. Yeah. How was putting a soundtrack to the film together? Like, how would that go? Well, Pretty Girl, that was a real tedious <laughs> process. I bet. Um, yeah, it took us eight months to finally get it all together because we had to write the score first and then we had to chop it up into songs. But uh, I want to thank the artists that did help out, you know, yeah. Kanye West, you know, Pusha T, the entire Wu-Tang. Um, the, the soundtrack is a great companion to the film. I try to make something that if you don't see the film and you're in your car and you put the soundtrack in, mm -hmm. you still feel like you got the vibe of Iron Fist. You know, this is like a movement, man. Yeah. It's a lot of fun. I was also reading that you kind of were hesitant about doing a soundtrack, yeah. but Quentin was like, yo. You, yeah. <laughs> you know, after directing and co-writing it with my buddy Eli Roth and, uh, and playing a, a character, you know, I was like, you know, kind of almost out of energy. Mm -hmm. But, you know, they... Loved my music, you know, Quinn's a big fan of Wu-Tang music and so is the studio execs and everybody. And they was like, RZA, of course you're gonna do the right? music, aren't you? <laughs> and I was like, no, no, it's a, oh, come on, buddy. And I was like, you know what? All right. Back to work, kid.